All right, so Westinghouse was cool enough to send me their ST switch, automatic transfer switch. I'm gonna go ahead and try this out for the very first time. This is my initial setup. I'm gonna eventually try to connect this to my sump pump, uh, but I just kinda wanna see how this wiring works. So they also sent me this Westinghouse 5300 generator that works with this ST switch. So this is an automatic transfer switch. This automatic transfer switch only works with their Westinghouse generators, only specific models. But what it has is this really cool data cable that connects to the transfer switch. So right here, this is the power that goes to the automatic transfer switch. And this is the data cable that goes to the generator. Um, this is connected to my wall outlet right here. So what this is supposed to do is when your power turns off this is supposed to automatically send a signal to your generator and then kick on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to test it out with a leaf blower right now now this electric leaf blower i would normally connect it directly to my wall outlet outside um, but just for a simulation what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to connect it to this switch simulating being indoors you do not want to keep this outdoors again this is just a demonstration so now that it's connected to the st switch the st switch is actually already running to my house so if I were to turn this on, let's pretend this was an appliance like a sump pump. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna simulate a power outage. So let's try this out. All right, it's off, light turns red. It's now gonna send a signal to the generator. Right, you see how that works so right now I'm gonna simulate so what happens when the power comes back on so we're gonna simulate that right now here I am in the power outlet connect it back into the house all right light turn green over here and in about two to three minutes this will automatically turn back off so Westinghouse has a feature so that the generator can kind of cool itself off before it turns off. And there it goes, it turns back off. And the power's on in my house. Turn this on. It works. Now one cool thing I did want to mention about this generator is this is also a dual fuel system. So right now I have gasoline in it. What I like about this, it already brings this little piece right here in this hose and this will connect down here. So you just disconnect this, connect this, hose to it change this from gasoline down to propane over here there's a little fuel valve that you'll switch off and then you'll be ready to go ahead and run this off of propane you know this being connected and on propane so this is a really cool system about this it is dual fuel so when thinking long term if you're keeping this generator to be sort of like your standby generator to help you out in an event of a power outage in that situation i would definitely stick with propane because it has a much longer shelf life compared to gasoline gasoline it is good but keep in mind you need to keep your gasoline treated by using some sort of stabilizer like stable gasoline can tend to go bad after a long period of time so if you're thinking really long term you want to have a generator on standby uh, propane might be the best way to go and westinghouse has an array of different generators out there um, this is sort of like a small size they have medium and larger so if you're looking for a much more powerful generator for example they have a 12,000 watt generator really big beast um, that would work with this st switch as well too what you could do is you can essentially have an st switch to power your important appliances so in the event of a power outage the st switch will kick on this generator or let's say a bigger generator and then once it's up and running after the st switch turns on you still have other outlets so if you wanted to connect let's say a separate transfer switch if you have an interlock kit you can still connect the interlock kit um, as well as your regular 120 outlets as well too. So I'm gonna go ahead and wire this down to my basement over here, down to my sub pump. The generator is close enough so that I can connect it to my sub pump it far enough from any windows and any doors. So just for a point of reference for a DIYer like myself, over here I am in my basement. And what I would do is I would drill a hole outside and fish the wires of the st switch outdoors and so in my initial test i'm just going to go ahead and use the dryer vent for right now but this is again temporary more permanent solution go ahead and drill some holes use some cog and make sure you seal it up really nicely and you can run your wires outside
All right, so it's worth mentioning that you definitely want to go ahead and consult your owner's manual. In my situation, for this specific generator right here, in order for the ST switch to work properly, I wanted to be at 240 volts. So I made sure that right now it's on gasoline mode, that my fuel is on, I have gas in my gas tank. Um, all my connections are set up. It's in the on position. It's already now connected downstairs. Um, I have both the ST switch and the power are being fished down into my utility room where my sump pump is. And I'm going to go ahead and try this out. So here I am in my utility room down in my basement where my sump pump is located. This sump pump is extremely important to me because in the event of a power outage, especially during a really bad rainstorm, my basement has the, the risk, the potential of flooding. So having a solution like the ST switch is really good. Now I know they do have some other solutions for sump pumps, like for example, 12 volt batteries that hook up to uh, the sump pump as a backup but i really like this st switch because this gives me more power options i can not only just connect my sump pump but in my basement i also have a freezer chest so i can also connect this to the same outlet and have both my sump pump and my freezer chest kick on in the event of a power outage and there's other options so this is flexible so you can choose whatever appliance is important to you and you can hook it up to this whether it be a refrigerator or something else so right now this is connected to the generator you can see how the light is green the wires are now fished outside to the generator about 20 feet away from these windows out in my backyard and the st switch is connected to the power outlet so i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna simulate a power outage right now we're gonna disconnect this from the wall this went from green to red. And right now I expect the generator to kick on any second now. Generator kicked on, light turned green. We can hear the generator running outside. So right now my sump pump is connected, but because there isn't any water, I wanna make this more realistic. All right, so let's add a bucket of water to the sump pump to make this more realistic and indicative of it actually running off the generator. Let's go ahead and add some water to the sump well. The and it kicked on and turned right back off. I mean, I have a very quiet Zoller sump pump, so you can't hear it, but it quickly sucked all that water that I just dumped down outside. So uh, this thing is powerful. Um, it's able to run my Zoller sump pump. Uh, I have another outlet so I can run another appliance. More long-term, I can set this up so that it's nice and tucked away, um, cable manage all these wires, uh, make a hole outside so that I'm able to run these wires dedicated non-intrusive and also seal it up from any pests coming in. And what I would strongly recommend is having some sort of base and then a, a shed to actually store this generator. So it will be far away enough from the house, uh, but I can actually keep it in storage on standby long term in the event of a power out. And one thing I really love about this ST switch is that this is also a battery maintainer. Uh, this will keep your battery charged at all times. You don't need to get any sort of battery tender to maintain this battery. This ST switch will do that for you. Uh, so your battery will always be topped off, ready to start up in the event of a power outage. A long-term solution, having some sort of a shed, a base, uh, cable managing this, having uh, all the wires connected through my house in a very nice and secure manner. Uh, and then this will be just a really great and inexpensive solution, considering that a whole house backup generator with an automatic transfer switch can cost you several thousands of dollars. Uh, this is a really good solution. For me, what I can do is this can also be some sort of an alarm. So in the event at nighttime, if I hear this generator kick on, I know the power has gone out on the house. So hopefully this was helpful for individuals out there who are interested in this sort of solution. Uh, I really, really do enjoy this Westinghouse generator and ST switch. And uh, good luck to you guys out there.